Hey guys, JT here with a quick um, introduction to, I guess, brush motors and breaking them in and even cleaning them. Um, what I have here is my brushed armor motor from my Granite 4x4. And you probably can't see it too well, but um, this has been run an awful lot. And you see it's got a lot of dirt and grime right there. It's also got some grime and stuff in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys if you were going to break this in and even try to clean it out. It's an old kind of remedy from the 80s and early 90s we used to do with brush motor. So what I have here in this cup is some water. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run this motor and I'm going to submerge it in water probably right about there so the water kind of flushes through it. And then I'm going to take it out and let it run some more real lightly to let the water kind of air out of it. And then I'm going to take some of this motor oil and put it on the bushes on each side. Um, and then run that and kind of let that circulate through. So um, you guys see I have my cup of water that's right down there. It's not like super, um, super, super dirty this motor is not. But it does have a lot of grime stuff in it. I'm actually going to put this, you see right here and my granite voltage but I do want to make sure that the run it, the motor is continuing to run at the best performance and you can also do this for a break in too if you want to take the time when you get any brush car and you want to break the motor and like I said you want to submerge it in water right about there you want to run it through for a few seconds um, you're going to hear this as it's run through the water is actually going to turn dirty and then as you want to take it out and let it run just for a few seconds to cycle the rest of the water through it you don't want to throw the whole motor in there you don't want to submerge the whole motor in water so anyway um, I do have this kind of hooked up uh, try to do this the best way I can so you guys can see it and you guys will hear this And since this motor is a little bit different, some of the water kind of threw out everywhere. Um, but I am cycling this through. And the water did get a little dirty. So it wasn't as dirty as I thought it would be. So I am kind of letting this air dry just a little bit. Um, you can take like a towel. I have one over here if I can get to it real quick with one arm and reach through it. Um, I'm going to put this to the side so that I won't knock this over and dab some of this water up. You guys have to excuse some of my mess here. Excuse my dirty towel. Um, so anyway, just to get some more of that water out of it, just kind of wrap this up. This is not really going to kill the motor. Even though no air is really circulating through, but I do want to make sure I get all that water out of it. And I'm just going to kind of dry and wipe it off. Uh, and you can take a Q-tip if you want. Just to wipe along this bushing here, just to clean that excess dirt off and do it also on top. And like I said, I didn't submerge this all the way up in here. You guys can kind of see um, how much dirtier the water is. It was clean and clear at first. So then from that point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a dab of oil there and I'm just going to turn it with my hand real quick just to kind of let that circulate through and I'm going to also put some let me clean the top of that off just a bit it's just got a little bit of dabby dirt on there and I'm going to put a little bit of oil right there on top now I'm going to let it circulate just a little I'm not going to run it at full speed Now, if you are breaking this motor in, um, you can do the water dip method, but you don't want to hit it full throttle. You want those brushes on the actual uh, motor and stuff to break in. So you probably want to have something that can hold this up. And you want to probably run it at this speed for, I don't know, a minute or two. Um, some people used to hook these up to uh, AA batteries or 9-volt batteries. They used to run right about this. I used to let it run, I don't know, for five minutes or so. And it would help where the brush is in properly because what it is is sometimes these motors probably a lot of them are not completely broken in and that's because they don't want to wear down the brush life but when you do this method when you first break the motor in it actually helps the brushes on the motor to wear in more evenly so I'm going to turn this kind of upside down I'm going to increase the speed just so that oil can get down up in there you guys can kind of see that still got a little water on there
And that's it guys. I mean, that's just a basic either breaking in your motor or cleaning and maintaining the brush motor. This will help contain or help you keep the life of the brushed motor as well a little bit longer than just not doing anything um, to it as well. You guys see some more of that dirt and grind coming off there on top. So that is a quick video of this. I did want to show this to you guys. So as always, you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget, put some comments below. Um, you guys may, you guys may have had other methods of trying to break this in, but this is what I used to do in the um, late eighties, early nineties. You guys may have heard who grew up around that era about water dipping your motor and stuff like that. So this is kind of the method we used to use for that for cleaning motors and breaking motors and stuff in. Um, I would also recommend that you get like a sprayer and you can like a um, computer air compressed sprayer and you can spray on if this is inside your car, you can just spray on one side and it'll take the dust out the other end. That'll also help you keep these motors clean and running good after you run like in a dusty field or something like that. So it'll help just keep your motors alive a little bit longer, keep them performing pretty well. So again, guys, thanks for watching and as always, stay tuned for more videos.